Eczema is the worst, but there's so much you can do about it. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about the best natural ways to get rid of it. Hi, I'm Sage. It's great to be here with you. I'm here to be your source of cutting edge wellness information to help you find answers to become happier and healthier. Please support us by hitting the subscribe button and ringing the notification bell. It only takes a second and it does so much to support our tiny family business. As you may know, I am deeply passionate about supporting you on your health journey, not just with educational information, but also with some of the amazing products that I've created for our company. You can find a link down in the description to the world's healthiest gourmet chocolates, delicious elixir blends, and the purest, most potent adaptogenic herbs. When it comes to eczema, there can be quite a few factors contributing to this. So you can have immune system dysfunction, environmental conditions, genetic variations from one person to the next, allergies to food, beauty products, detergents, or other chemicals that you're exposed to. It can be caused by chronic stress and even temperature changes. So you have to do a little bit of a, a self-analysis and try to narrow it down to which of these may be a causative factor for you. Now, there's a lot of ways that we can approach this. One that you might want to consider is Cyrex food sensitivity testing. That's spelled C-Y-R-E-X. Now, most food sensitivity testing is highly inaccurate and not really worthwhile. And it's just going to basically tell you what you've been eating mostly lately and is not going to really help you. And it's just going to cause too much stress. This is done in a different way that can be much more accurate and much more insightful. Then I would also think about red light therapy. And red light therapy is able to help the skin improve mitochondria in the skin and decrease inflammation and is very effective with eczema. Also improving your vitamin D levels. Now you can do this by supplementation, you can do this by getting out in the sun. And this I think is affecting the eczema a lot by the way in which it's helping to regulate the immune system. And you also want to think about getting at least 10 to 15 minutes of sunshine on this area. Low vitamin D in pregnancy and childhood can also increase your eczema risk. So if you figure out a way to develop a time machine, you could go back in time, talk to your mom before you're born, and make sure she starts optimizing her vitamin D levels. Also supplementing with probiotics and prebiotics and having a diet rich in prebiotic foods and an overall gut friendly diet is going to be a really good idea because you want to bring down inflammation levels here as well. Topically, you can also think about using coconut oil and lavender. Now, one other thing to think about is heavy metal toxicity. Heavy metals can be a big contributing factor in eczema via interference with healthy immune function and several other factors. And so you might want to speak with a functional medicine doctor who specializes in heavy metal chelation therapy and can give you an accurate idea of what your heavy metal levels are like and can help you put together a program to gently detoxify these in a way that's not going to let them circulate into other areas of your body and is not going to cause you too many rough detoxification symptoms. Now, we also have to consider the psychological component, and this is supported by research done at Harvard. So you also want to think about meditation, focused breathing practices, cognitive behavioral therapy, and supplements that can help you with stress and anxiety. Things like the adaptogenic herbs, especially reishi mushroom and ashwagandha and holy basil, and also things like magnesium, especially magnesium l 3 nate and magnesium glycinate are really good here. Also omega-3 rich foods, we're not necessarily talking about the plant-based ALA omega-3s, but the long chain. Uh, EPA and DHA coming from fish oil, krill oil, or algae oil. And these have an amazing, powerful anti-inflammatory effect as well. So there's a lot of tools that you can bring together to get your body into a happier, healthier place. And a lot of this is also going to come back to gut health. I just want to, we've mentioned that a little bit here and there throughout this conversation, but I really want to underline that again here. When you have problems coming up on your skin like this, it's very commonly tied to imbalances in the gut microbiome leaky gut food particles, for example, getting through your leaky gut and getting into the bloodstream, causing an autoimmune reaction that's increasing inflammation levels and causing all kinds of downstream issues. So by focusing on gut health and stress, cleaning up your lifestyle, making sure you're dealing with your food sensitivities, optimizing your vitamin D, you can get to a much, much better place with your eczema and have beautiful, smooth, clear skin that's not going to be bothering you all the time. Now, if you have tried any of these and found them to be helpful, or if there's something else that you have tried and was a great solution for you and really helped you out, 
please put it down below in the comments. That's not just for me to find out about, but also because somebody else who's watching this video dealing with eczema might find that that is the one thing that they were missing in their program. That could be really, really a game changer for them. Now, before you go, here's a link to a video that I think you would enjoy watching next. And here's another link to a video that YouTube thinks you would enjoy. And there's a link to our website with some amazing products that you'll love. Have a beautiful day. and I'll see you guys again next time. Thank you.